so lost, man. Help me figure something out. Yeah, help me figure yes? something out, man. Marshall Strickland. How am I supposed to bring back Marshall Strickland? She thought the cactus was him for a few seconds, didn't she? She's not that picky. I'll figure something out. Oh, what if we were to put... take the, uh, the hat off? This hat doesn't frame her face very well. Now we're gonna put it on... Doc. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. I don't. It's just a cactus. So we need the hat to go on someone. Can I put it on myself? Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Hmm. This hat needs to go somewhere. Maybe it goes on the mailbox? Not sure what that'll do. Dang. Well, it's got... This came from being easy to being really frickin' difficult. Not sure what that'll do. Not bad. Oh, Grandfather! How well you look! How well everything looks! How does everything look? Tell so me! So weird. It's a bit rustic, to be sure. But all the buildings are so sturdy and well-kept. And the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century. And I know the reason why. Why? why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think I could learn to like living here. <gasps> but who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Tannin. Tannin. Yes! Good guess. Look at him. Acting like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... A... A what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something evil. This is oh. the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. I get it. So what we gotta do is we gotta put. He doesn't like the. She doesn't like the saloon. So we'll put this the saloon on the outhouse. There we go. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon in Hill Valley. Oh, he can't do that. Grandpa, you can't let him do it! You can't let that snake ruin paradise! Well, if they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but uh -huh. I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. Yeah, we know what you'll do. We know exactly what you'll do. No! You're doing it all wrong! It'll never burn like that! First, we'll need some kerosene. 
Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. Ha. Isn't it beautiful? The devil's handiwork consumed by the fires of righteousness. <laughs> burn, you sucker! Burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. Uh oh. What is it then? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in Hill Valley. Uh. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan! I'm a hooligan! <laughs> Did I lay it on too thick? Uh, maybe a little bit. Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh? Hill Valley destroyed by fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals hey. to... You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in the Hayesville Herald. Two months worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. <laughs> Atta boy, Dad. Okay, well, I guess that ends the second act, basically, of the final chapter. God, her voice is so annoying. Oh my God! If they had made it just a little bit nicer, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to cheat in the middle and use hints. There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back. You go through the front. Got it. All right, so we're back here. Um, I apologize a little bit. I ended up, uh, the game ended up screwing up with me. So I will show you guys in a timely manner, actually, how to do this, which was actually great. It took me about, I'll show you where I screwed up in terms of where it took me about 15 minutes, but um, in one of the cutscenes, the game crashed on me. Edna, stop. It, it's just me. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? I'm putting an end to your den of iniquity before it starts. I don't think so, Mary. I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard B. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! If you shoot her, she'll drop the torch, and this whole place will burn up. Edna, stop! If you drop that torch, he'll shoot us! Looks like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Tannen. I don't see a way out, unless somebody manages to disarm both of you at the same time. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Well, you know what, Marty? To be honest with you, I was thinking the same question. However... I wonder what's in these. Oh, stop! Quiet! You... God. What the hell? Oh, cow crap! There goes all my pickled pig's feet! Oh, darn. That sucks. Anyways, you want to head up this ladder. Uh, this part actually got done pretty quickly. <clears throat> This was not where you saw me struggling. <laughs> where you saw me struggling was... If you see right where the ladder comes up in this red part here... Uh, once you shove this to the ground, it'll pick up the... Uh... Whoops! It's right over his head! 
but I can't knock him out while Edna's still holding that torch. Yeah. So I was like, what, what the hell? I can't get over there. I can't get over there. That I can well, Going down. there's really a simple explanation Looks for like that. your torch is getting a little dim there, Miss Pickford. It's still hot enough to bring down this little bit of Gamora, Tannen. If you pick up this sandbag and you want to put it in the pallet, <laughs> there's really nothing that I could really grab. All right, physics. Um, so it pops up the other thing on the other side. So I was like, I was, str I couldn't find anything. I was like struggling. They were getting all pissed off because I like, wasn't finding it. And all you have to do is just tag this rope. <laughs> what it does is it'll knock the barrel off. Why? Well, why well, I don't know. You can just walk over there. I don't. What understand was that noise? It. What noise? I didn't hear a noise. And I was doing a lot of this floorboards loose. I don't know if you saw it, but uh. Are you here to haul me back to? What it, that part I understood, but it was that uh, it was that stupid rope that I swear okay. it took me a while. That I did was actually. Lucky. Won't be long now. We'll just see. I do have to admit that I did use a hint for that, but that seriously shaved off like ten minutes of me wandering around. So let's just hope the uh, the game will cooperate with me because I believe we are near the end. Come on. Got any last words? I'll see you in hell, Tannen. You first, lady. Come on, you son of a... <gasps> yeah, I missed ha! it. Uh, what the frog? What the frog? What the French toast? the hell are you? I'm the diversion, butthead. <laughs> he calls him a butthead. I love that. Nice one, Doc. Don't tell Clara. She thinks Fisticuffs set a bad example for the boys. Now, there's Edna. <laughs> Doc, she's gone. Oh, crap. Really? Edna's DeLorean. We've got to stop her before she hits 88 miles per hour. Come on. Oh, yeah, you do.